Yo, what's up guys? I'll be here and I bring you today a Lepic gun build. Yes, a gun build with Lepic. I I'm pretty that's what I do pretty much. I if if a character has a gun build, I'm gonna explore that. He does have a, a module that increases his, his uh, firearm attack. So let's explore that today. I think it's one of the weaker ones. Uh, so between uh, Blair, Valby, you know, Glay, it's definitely one of the weakest uh, buffs, but it's still decent. It's actually quite a nice chunk of firearm attack. So it synergizes well with like I I IR base. So like, you know, snipers, revolvers, and attack rifles. And it has some unique synergies with, with Lepic's kit. So let's go over that. Why a support why I call this more of a supportive build is because uh since you're not having one of the better buffs in gun damage, why not utilize that to buff your team? What I mean is, instead of maximizing your damage, which is not the best, you could maximize your damage of the team. So you want a stack rifle with Analysis Master and a Zestra once you run out of ammo uh, of your attack rifle, right? And your classic Enduring Legacy for consistent, comfort, whatever, mechanics, in case you have to shoot balls <laughs> or, uh, or any of those things. Uh, okay, so what's the synergy here? You can build extremely offensive, so like you can you can go with full veteran marksman or full annihilator, and make use of your close call. What this does is makes makes you invulnerable every three minutes. So if you die, you don't die. You just locked at ten, uh, at uh, zero HP for five seconds. In my case, nine seconds because of, of the build, which I'll show. But what you can do is buff yourself, and just chunk and just DPS the boss right and just ignore his mechanics ignore his damage because you're gonna be invulnerable anyway for 10 seconds so you can just dps dps and ignore the boss so you don't have to build super tanks also your your buff is pretty easy to, to upkeep i'll show you you pop it you you unload the two mags i loaded earlier but whatever and then you cancel the reload with your buff and you just up keep it like that and you can have 100% uptime on, on your buff on Greg specifically or on uh, Stratum it works so yeah easy upkeep uh, you can be decent supporter and you have decent damage so and you can tank right you can draw aggro and ignore the boss so you have zero zero you need to kite and just dps dps that's why I think his playstyle at least makes sense. Even though it's not as strong as the other gun descendants, he can still be valuable and fun. I did uh, quite a lot of damage in that gluttony run. I don't know how, honestly, because 62 million in two minutes is pretty in intense. Of course, you're not Glay or like Glay with Enzo, which does that in 20 seconds. But yeah, you're still a decent firearm character while having the additional benefit of being able to to tank right and draw aggro as long as you start attacking first so let's go over the, the modules i went with the classic maximize duration and maximize cooldown so mp conversion in both fingers maximize duration and skill extension increase defense shot focus here you have as, as ultimate lepic you have two almondine so one i use for a flex immunity slot which are all almondine so you whatever chill resistant fire resistant toxic resistant electric resistance or immunity second one is a flex slot i you I go with midair fire for a bit of more accuracy since i'll be jumping a lot in uh, in gluttony fight to dodge his, uh, his shots but you can go Improved drive shaft or accelerated drive shaft for more DPS. Pretty improved drive shaft is better, obviously, because in in enhances your firearm attack. You have boost, you boost your firearm attack, right? So it's a it's it's tax. But yeah, this is the build. Right, you're gonna have nine point three seconds of immunity with this. 
reactor is skill cooldown and duration, as always. External components, full veteran, marksman, or animator, if I already mentioned, I think. And uh, yeah, one thing I want to mention about this build is a big missed opportunity, in my opinion, on Nexon's part, because power unit change changes your buff from skill damage to firearm attack damage, right? But the burn and the dot remains a skill power modifier scaling ability. So it's kind of underwhelming. It's kind of sad. Imagine if that would scale of uh, arm attack, right? That would make it synergize really well with high base firearm attack weapons like snipers. And it would add a unique, quite a unique playstyle to him. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. I hope maybe this can change. Because that would be really interesting and would make him at least unique. Because as of now, he's just a basic ass firearm scaler, right? Like Blair and and Valby are just better. Same with Clay, right? This would add some some unique spin to it, let's say. So yeah, I think that's it. Let me know what you think, and see you in the next one.